Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will talk about WPF storyboards and we will start with the absolute basics. So this video, we will be doing a first animation that is the fade in and fade out and talk about the absolute basics of WPF storyboard. This video will explain what a storyboard is, how to define a simple double animation for opacity targeting an element and start and stop the animation in XAML and C Sharp. This uh, video will introduce the core concepts in a very digestible way with a common easy to use direct effect. So let's uh, start by opening uh, Visual Studio and here I have Blend for Visual Studio 2022 open. This is uh, more uh, user friendly when it comes to designing WPF applications. It has more control on storyboards with timelines and so on. But today in this video, I will not uh, start with the timeline and doing it uh, automatically but we will for more focus on the code and I will tell you how we can create storyboards using XAML code so uh, you can also use um, Visual Studio and not uh, go with the blend for Visual Studio application so here I have blend for Visual Studio and let me click on create a new project for those who haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel it means a lot it motivates me to create more such videos so moving ahead here uh, you will have to select WPF app with .NET framework and not go with the .NET core because .NET core does not have the uh, best support for or uh, storyboards and animations so uh, I would recommend you to check uh, click the WPF app with .NET a framework uh, template and select this I have it in my recent templates but you can also search for that in the templates over here so let me select that and click on next let's give this project a name so WPF uh, fade fade effect Okay, and uh, let me click on create. So now the project is created and here you can see uh, similar to Visual Studio, you have the designer and then you have the XAML um, code over here. Let me switch to a vertical split and here I have the window and the solution explorer and the timeline and objects where you can add storyboards and you can uh, work with timelines and animate objects on the uh, main window or the WPF uh, screen. So but um, today we will take a different approach and start with the code and to do that right now we have our main window open. So let me uh, explain what this example will show us uh, and this will be to make a button fade in and fade out using a double animation on its opacity property triggered from the uh, code behind. So let me start by adding the code. So let's first start by um, adding the data within the grid and which that is the first element would be a button element. So let's start with the button and let's give this button a name. Let's call it my button. Next, we will add the content and call it click to fade. And then we will have the next property, which is the width. Let's set the width to 150 points. And then we have the height and let's say 50 points. Next is the opacity. Let's set it to one. Then we have the click property and this will create a new event handler. So let me tab and this has already created an event handler in the code behind. Next, we need the horizontal alignment and let's set it to center. And next we need the vertical alignment and that too will be center. Next, uh, let's close this button. And within this button, let's set a background. So button. dot background property and let's close this and within this let's set a linear background and that is the lead linear gradient brush and within this linear gradient brush let's start a start point of zero comma zero is the start point and now let's set the end point which would be one comma one and then we close this gradient and within our linear gradient we create a gradient uh, stop and let's set the color to I will use the hex value and that would be FF64 B5 F6 which is a 
blue color and then let's set the offset to say zero next uh, we need to close this so let me close this up next we need another gradient stop so let's start with gradient stop again this time the color would be a little different so let me put the hex value egg ff one nine seven six d two and that would be a darker shade of blue than the previous one and let's set the offset to one and then let's close this so we have uh, two gradient stops within our Lydia gradient brush and that gives you this uh, fade effect from starting from the lighter color to the darker color where the offset is zero and the next one, uh, the offset is one and the start point is zero comma zero and the end point is one comma one. So now we have the background brush uh, defined. Next, we will move to the button resources. So let me enter here and say button dot resources. And within our resources, let's uh, define the storyboard in this uh, resource. So let's start with storyboard tag. And within our storyboard, let's give this a key and call this fade in out storyboard. And uh, next, there are some more properties that we need to add. The one that we are interested in is, is to animate the opacity of the property of the element named my button. So this storyboard will uh, animate the opacity property of our my button. So to do that, we will need to create a double animation within our storyboard. So before I do that, I, I will need to close this uh, storyboard tag over here and within our storyboard we will create a double animation and within our double animation we will set the target storyboard dot target name equal to my button so this is the same name as the button so this storyboard targets the my button uh, element or the control and the next property would be storyboard. Let me expand this so that you can clearly see. So the next property is the target property and that also that would be the opacity of the my button control. So next um, we move to the from from 1.0 to zero dot zero is the opacity that I want to switch to and uh, let's set the duration as well so duration would be zero dot zero dot one second so so it's one second and then um, next property would be the auto reverse so let's set it to true this will reverse once the animation is over it will automatically reverse to the original state and then the next property would be to repeat this behavior and let's say 1x and then let's finally close this uh, double animation uh, i see there is a small error in the duration and let me see why because i have used dot instead of a colon and that is not how we describe or define time so it should be a colon instead of a dot and then uh, our double animation is complete so and also our storyboard is closed and also the button resource is closed so as you can see our storyboard is defined now let me move to the code behind and um, start working on how to trigger this storyboard so because now if i run this um, code you can see that uh, the animation is not getting triggered even after i click the button so because uh, the code is not available so to do that let uh, let's go to this code behind here and here we need uh, to first create an object so let's say private storyboard and create this uh, fade in out storyboard 
property and close this next we will uh, go to the initialize component in our uh, constructor and get the storyboard from the resources so we'll set this property fade in and out equal to of type storyboard and use the my button dot resources because we have set the resources on our button and within our button we have the storyboard resource so and we have called this uh, resource so if you go here in the main window we have called this fade in and out storyboard which is within our button resource so that is what we are doing here trying to get this uh, resource into this uh, property so within the double quotes let's paste in the value and uh, finally close this and now uh, we will use this property storyboard uh, to uh, start and stop our storyboard within our button click so in our button click let's uh, stop an existing animation and uh, reset it so to do that let's use underscore fade in and out storyboard property and dot stop or the object i would say and this object will help us uh, start and stop the uh, animation and um, and to begin the animation we use the same object fade in and out storyboard dot begin and let's uh, tap to close it and let me save this and now let's finally run the application and you will see uh, yeah there is an error so let me see what the error is uh, okay and I have added a wrong value over here let me save this now and run this and hopefully our animation should start when I click on the button so here you can see the opacity property of the button is animated using the double animation and it fades and comes back to its prop, uh, actual property value so this is how simple you can uh, use uh, storyboards to animate elements uh, on the main window uh, and you can do this also using uh, blend and blend is a beautiful tool where you can animate objects which makes designing WPF uh, windows so much easier for example if I add a button over here let me go to the go designer here and add a button and let me go now to this button property and let's say the background is of type linear gradient okay and the opacity property is right now 100 and now all I have to do is go and add a storyboard over here let's say storyboard 1 and on the 0th animation let me add a breakpoint which captures the actual um, state of this button and on the first second I will change the opacity of this button so let me go to properties and change this value to 0 and press enter and doing so will capture the uh, state of this um, button and also uh, right now the the, um, the uh, linear gradient or the grid uh, stop uh, gradient stop was selected was this and I change it to zero I have to also do the same to the other one gradient stop so let me select zero or press zero and enter mm -hmm. and that is how uh, the button has changed from uh, a gradient color to a completely uh, colorless uh, button so here you can see if I move to this key stop you have a gradient and on the first keyframe the button has gone uh, blank so if I run this animation you can see uh, the animation is sm smooth and it transitions to this colorless button you can also change the uh, this keyframe to a closer value and if you now run this the animation animation will be much quicker if I move it to a farther uh, keyframe point then if you see now the animation will be slowly transitioning to this uh, opacity where the value is zero so that is how you can uh, trigger uh, not trigger but design these storyboards and if you go to the code behind now you will let me stop this storyboard recording and um, if you see the code over here you will see it has created a storyboard within the window resources and not the button but if you can see uh, it has created a color animation using keyframe uh, uh, resource and within that it is easing color keyframe um, it is using this easing color keyframe uh, 
element to uh, transition between the colors that we have used here we have used a different approach where we used a double animation to uh, animate the uh, storyboard uh, but um, in this uh, scenario it is using it is doing this differently so there are various ways to do it but the same uh, thing applies so now if i want to trigger this animation i can simply uh, go to this button here and um, on click create another event handler and uh, go to the code behind and here i will create another object let me just say two uh, let me copy this and paste it again let me rename this as two and instead of my button it should be this dot resources because we have um, the resources in the window and not a separate uh, control and let me copy this name and paste it over here and then uh, let me copy these two start and stop items and rename it to storyboard.2 and uh, let's start this and hopefully this should be enough to trigger the animation so if i click our button you can see the animation is being triggered it's just as same, same as the one that we did via the code so uh, that is why i most of the time use blend to create animations in future uh, in the next videos we will uh, show you how um, easy it is to animate things uh, with blend if you are interested in more complex animations there are so many videos on my youtube channel uh, where i have started with wpf storyboards uh, in blend so please do check them out i will i will leave a link in the descriptions um, please check them out hope you all like watching this video if you do please this, give this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel till then bye bye